bad right now because, um, you know my last video time, it was like a couple hours ago, and my mother was playing music the whole time, and I couldn't even record a video because there's this blasting music in the background, and I told them to turn it off several times, and they even have a karaoke thing hooked up to it, so you hear them screaming on the top of the lungs against the mic. And, yeah, I couldn't record a video to 9 o'clock right now. So, this is what if Deku had one for all early. So, yeah, he gets Black Whip. I think I explained a little bit of Black Whip. But, yeah. And Black Whip can use it like Spider-Man's and use it as actual whips. And he could shoot out five whips, I'm going to say, from each arm. And stuff like that. His percent of one for all is 30%. And, um, let me think. What else was it? And, yeah. I won't give him any more quirks because I don't know anything else that Deku gets from one for all. He was supposed to get, like, five or other quirks, including, or six of the quirks, including, um, Black Whip. And stuff like that. So, yeah. And we... Actually, Jackie's the ninth assessor, and the first assessor didn't have a cork except giving corks away. So yeah, six. Okay, I'll just make sure if it was correct, because I knew he was like the ninth assessor. And there's three users of one for all without corks: the original, All Might, and Deku. So we're going to go into the entrance museum because he still goes into the regular one. And he doesn't trip when he's walking or anything. So he can just walk straight in and he sits down and he does the test. He gets higher this time because he doesn't have to work out constantly just to get strong enough to use one for all. Without like having his limbs shoot off I think. And stuff like that, so yeah. So he gets higher in the back here, I'm just gonna say that. And now they're going to the practical exam. When they start their practical exam, it is Deku's in the same area with Uraraka and stuff. And what Deku wants to do is I'm gonna say he was in the front, but he thought, oh, I'll just go in the back where I don't destroy everybody. And behind me, Ida sees him walking back, and it looks like he's trying to go talk to Uraka, and tells him not to do that, you can interrupt, but he, this little dick is saying, no, I'm trying to get to the back of the line where I don't hurt people, and then tells, why are you lying to me, I clearly saw you. That's when um, Deku says, okay, okay, I'm actually just trying to go to the back of the line. Because my court can destroy the ground over there. And I don't want to just mess up people in f behind me. Deku walks off by saying goodbye to Ida. And he just walks to the back of the line with Ida being like, Oh, he must have been telling the truth and stuff. Because he didn't really fight back or anything. And he says what type of court he had because he said it will destroy the ground. So this is whenever, um, the dude says go, or he says, um, you're going to start the test and stuff like that, and he says, but Deku runs off first and people are confused, and this is whenever, um, Mike dude says, Mike guy, <laughs> Mike guy, <laughs> says, what are you waiting for, follow the kid, there's no timers in the real battle. That kid gets it. And all you, I'm pretty sure all we seen was him dash off, jump um, over people, leaving a crater. And him running off and um, stomping, like jumping straight down, shooting straight through a robot's head, destroying it. While stomping right by two of them, breaking their legs and destroying those. He goes, runs off, and this is when people see black stuff coming from his sleeves, and they look like five and ten whips, and he shoots them. 
and he pulls himself around with them, kicking robots, and um, using his other hand as a actual hand creating one, and grabbing robots and chucking them at other ones, and stuff like that. So yeah, he goes around and pretty much starts destroying robots. And I'm going to say, I'll give him more rescue points because every time somebody's in danger, he'll shoot a black whip near them and destroy what destroy the hand that the robot's about to hit them with. Like the missiles and stuff and hit them out the air and stuff like that. To de defend them. So the people on top are saying this kid's actually destroying robots left and right. While he's defending people with his other arm. And they're impressed. They're prob and they say he's probably going to be the top student. And stuff like that. And I'm going to say he already has up to 50 rescue points. And two, 200 um, villain points. Because he has Black Whip and One for All and stuff like that. And this is wherever... Raka screams for help while he sees people running away. Well, I'm gonna say people that can't run away fast enough, he like moved them with black whip behind them. Including everybody in front. This is whenever they seem to dash off at 100% of his max power, 30% actually. Max 30%. And he dashes off. And he jumps up in the air. Then he says, all for one, leg, X, and taking his leg and striking right in the head of the robot, and this was a sharp cut with one for all, I'm cutting the head in half with breaking winds, pretty much. It kind of looks like if he took a kendo stick, or a kendo sword, call it a stick and like hit something really hard hard enough to like destroy it completely it kind of looks like that and stuff like that and yeah and he he runs on the wall he uses black whip to throw off the rubble off of Uraraka and grab her while bringing her up to Deku and Deku sliding down jumping to building to building um, going down the thing with parkour skills and putting her saying, Are you okay? Do you need me to take you to a medical? Um, a med? And she says, My leg hurts just a little. That's going for what's her name again? You know, recovery girl comes over and kisses her and her leg, her spring leg. You don't delete the image. Um, gets healed. Uraraka uh, um, says thank you and asks his name. He says Izuku Midoriya, or you can call me Deku. And that's where he says Deku. You mean do any anything? He says um, that's usually not the name that people gave it and stuff like that. And yeah, and that's whenever he goes home and he waits for the test results. And that's whenever he gets his score of two hundred. And ten villain points. Because I'm going to say the robot could crush other robots. <laughs> and then, what was it? So I gave him like 50 rescue points at first with another 80. Because he also saved Uraraka with them. So that'll be, that'll be 130. Making his total skill 300 and... Um, wait, 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 what was that? <laughs> I messed up, okay. 210 plus, um, 130. Um, 340. Yeah, 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 I messed up for a second. Um, points in total. He has top and villain points and top and hero points. And stuff like that. So he goes to UA on the day that they're supposed to go to UA, and people are looking at him, 
and stuff like that. And like saying that's the kid that got top score and, and also had hero points. Um, Deku walks in, people look at him, Rocky sees Ida and Bakugo fighting and stuff like that. And whatever, or like arguing, and he goes over and, and tells, um, Ida that, um, you can try all you want, but he's really stubborn whenever he gets angry. That's whenever Bakio stands up and he says, Dick, you nerd! And tries to slam his head with a hand with an explosion to the desk. That's when I'm gonna say Deku flicks the desk. Not destroying or anything, but using like a wind kind of blast onto it, making Bakko's hand fly back up when he's about to hit it. And that's whenever Deku says you shouldn't destroy school property. Especially UA, he might get kicked out for um, doing that in this school and stuff like that. That's when Zaro says, everybody get back to the seat and be quiet. And people are like, who's this hobo doing in here? And they're like, and stuff. And he says, all of you put on this and meet me outside. And that's whenever one of you... One of them says, don't we have to go to a ceremony? And he says, no, we're having a fitness exam. And so that's when they say wasn't then what was the entrance exam for. So Deku got first, and he has to throw the ball throw. I, I'll just say he gets like a above average throw, a normal throw strength. And then, and then he uses his court. What he does is that he spins it around with one throw with black lip, and people can see this. And one starts picking up while he's twisting really fast. But whenever he throws it, it goes 5,000 meters, which is pretty far, am I? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Because I think the highest was like 8. 100 meters around that. Wait, I think Bomo shot it pretty far with her cork. And of course, the rock got first, though. And Deku got second, I must say. And Momo third, and Papa go fourth. Everybody is the same because half of them don't have enhancement corks. Or that can help them with it. I think the tail dude would actually be pretty good at it, too, because he smack it with his tail. But yeah. Running test, he gets first, but to Ida, because I think he was actually just as fast as Ida whenever he had, like, 5% of one for all, and 15%, um, 8% definitely, there's no doubt in my mind that he was faster. But if he had any higher one for all, man, he was sweet, but I'm going to say because Ida doesn't have a reciprocal burst, people say he does at the beginning. But, as we, if you guys, like, watch the anime, because I noticed in the anime, it says that his brother taught him this, um, one day during a different part of UA. So he doesn't even know it yet. But in Recyclable Burst, I will say that's pretty much equal to 20% one for all in my book. And stuff like that. So Deku gets, um, first place and everything jumping and all that I set the ball throw making him first in the class then it is Momo, Todoroki Bakugo and Kurishima you know because Kurishima the only reason why he wasn't ranked higher in that exam is because of his court doesn't give him fencil enhancement it makes him harder so even though I think He's a, would be worthy of Ida's spot as the fourth strongest. Well, people say Ida's the fourth strongest. I think I did it a couple times. But I feel like Kurishima would be even stronger, definitely. If you guys... Because I, I know quite a bit from the manga. But I know not a lot of people read the manga. Is So, you guys seen the Red Ride episode. Which I think that's actually a cool part of his quirk. 
and then I always wanted his court to be like a rock dragon. Just imagine it with him in his red riot form, with the rock appearing out of his back. It would be really cool. I wonder if there's fan art with that. I'll do like some kind of what if that Kirishima gets it again now. Put up that picture for it. But yeah. Deku gets first place and all that. And that's going to be in this video.